Nkrumah introduced the one-party state. Right. Nkrumah became life president. These are facts. It's not what you read. And I'm saying that that is dictatorial, but I'm saying it's because of his ideas of that socialist path for our development, not only for Ghana, but Africa. Okay, so he so chose we, it because for him it was a path to development. Yes, he was a Marxist intellectual, and he, was, he chose the socialist path. We can't redefine Nkrumah's world. Right. That's what I'm saying, but so it's the, the, it was dictatorial. But it doesn't mean that it's wrong, because that was his philosophy, and people have their philosophy. As today, we have a multi-party system. That's the Western, inherited from the Western system. Nkrumah was against that. He didn't believe. He developed a point where he realized socialism is the past. So what I'm saying for us to understand his democracy, greatness... That's why everything was pushed through parliament not today. Not Western democracy. No, that's but a different even kind of democracy. Every legislation, everything he, he promoted was done through parliament. Right. This is a man who won three, with his party, so three elections. you disagree with the word dictatorial? Strongly. Strongly, because it, because he it's the manner in which he introduced most of his his policies, or oh, everything actually was pushed through Parliament. So he used constitutional means, and we can check the records. You know, so are we saying that today, when the, any government of the day pushes through things which the opposition vehemently opposes, opposition. that there they are was no opposition then? But so there was the an opposition. There were but different they parties, they had, and no, we, they had no room. There to was operate. a referendum. There were. Everything I, was I, I, I don't agree with you, but I guess people differ, even yeah. siblings, but, yeah. yeah. So.